In this video, I'm gonna be explaining how to use forms inside of monday.com. I'll be going over how to set them up, how to customize them, and then how to either share them or embed them on your own website. So you can start collecting data and just putting it straight into your monday.com system without having to do any manual entry. Welcome CRM crew, my name is Nick. Just before we get into the video, if you are signing up to monday.com for the first time, it would be greatly appreciated if you could use my link below. It really does help the channel out. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So once we log into monday.com, of course, we will come to the home screen. Now, as we are using forms in this video, let's head over to our workspaces and I'm just gonna be using a form for our example board. You, of course, can go to any board that you'd like to use a form for. And then from here, what we need to do is go to the top where the view area is and just press add view and then we need to add a form. So go to the list and just go to the form button. And now we should generate a form. Now, of course, if you're not familiar with what a form is, essentially it allows us to sh um, collect information and this information could be absolutely anything. It could be leads, it could be surveys, it could be um, internal, maybe you wanna get feedback from your team about something in particular. Forms can be used for absolutely anything. And I'll come on to how we can use them later on in this video, but let's firstly start with setting up our form. So we can give our form a name. So let's just call this example form. And then what we wanna do is obviously we've got all of our different columns on our board. And these are all of the columns represented on the form. So we've got name, the status, the date, the price, files, and then they'd submit. And of course, when they submit that information, it then gets directly added onto that particular board. And I will go into settings in a moment's time and we can specify where on your board we would like that information to go. So firstly, we've got our name and we can change this here and we can add a form description as well if we would like to. And then we can go through each of our different columns. Now, you can change the name if you would like to. We can also add a description just for clarity in case you need to for your form. We can select whether it is required and that means they cannot submit the form without having entered in this relevant field or this particular piece of information. So we'd probably want it to be required for the name. We do not want any information coming into our monday.com system without a name. Or if we'd like to, we could hide it. So we could just hide that particular field or any field. This applies for all of the, um, the different columns or different fields on our form. So we can select required or we could hide it. So maybe we do not want this status um, to be visible on our form. And that may definitely be applicable. Maybe this is a lead and they're submitting their information to get information back or book a free consultation. Um, you would not want the status available for them to select and see because the lead status would be um, had a conversation and obviously the different stages. We've then got date. So on the date, again, we can change the name, add a description. We can select it as required or hide it. But with the date, we can also add today's date or the date that they are submitting the form as a default. And we can also include time. So if you'd like to track the time that they added it, and that could be relevant for all sorts of different things. It's entirely up to you what you're using the form for. Now we've got price as well, and this is just another column. It's exactly the same. And then finally, we've got files, and this allows the person filling out the form to upload a file. Um, again, that's probably not gonna be relevant for the lead side, but maybe you're doing feedback or something along those lines. They might have a file they'd like you to like to upload, and then that file will be stored on the main board for anyone to access. So it's very, very clever, very, very convenient. Now, of course, you're gonna have lots of different columns on your board, so you can go through each of these, hide and show what you'd like, and there will be some different options. I can't, unfortunately, go through every single column, otherwise I'll probably be here forever. Um, also, just to note, you can drag and drop any of these different um, fields to different places on the form. So maybe you want name, files, date, price, I don't know. It's entirely up to you what you'd like to do. Now, you will notice the background is um, an interesting purple. You can change this if you are on the paid version. You can unlock customizations where you can change the background color. You will also be able to remove the poweredbymonday.com logo down the bottom. You can add your own logo, uh, which is obviously what you wanna do. So I would add my CRM crew logo to my form. 
And then also you can do conditional formatting and that essentially allows you to say um, if price is over a thousand then ask this question if it's less than ask this question so that kind of gives you a few options there okay unfortunately i can't go into that as this is the free version but anyway moving on from the actual board and what is going to be seen and the aesthetic of the board we then have our settings now it's a cog on the right hand side here just press the settings button and there are a few different uh, options that, that i'm going to walk you through so name question include name question in form so that is the first column on any board and you can tick and untick so maybe you just don't want that on there and um, you can just remove that or hide that if you'd like to update question include update section in forms so if you're familiar with updates you can also add that to your form as well and they can write uh, updates if they would like so we'll untick that and then here is group for answers and this is where we can assign where this particular information where the pieces of information go so let me just go back to my main table area i've got form group and not form group and i've labeled them very clearly for you we want them to go every time someone submits a form into the form group area okay and again that's going to vary for all of your boards but let's say we just want form group you can just select that anytime someone fills in information and submits a form it will go to the form group we can then add a success message. So as you can see, it says, thank you. Um, that is like a header. And then you can just write a description. Your answers were submitted successfully, or maybe you may want to write something else. Thank you for submitting this information or you'll hear back from us soon. Well, it could be anything. Or you could redirect them. So you could add a redirect link. So maybe you are just using this as a landing page and they fill out a form and you are sending advertising traffic. So uh, pay-per-click traffic or just um, organic traffic to the landing page and then once they filled out that information you want to then redirect them to your own website all you need to put uh, all you need to do is just put the link in the redirect link there we then have the option for them to submit another none click to submit another or automatically get them to submit another okay so if you don't want them to submit so in a, a case of leads perhaps you definitely wouldn't want them to submit multiple multiple forms for your leads maybe a click could be a ticket so let's say they've got a problem with a product that they're using and you're managing tickets inside of monday.com they could click to submit another ticket and then i can't think of a use case for auto i'm sure there are plenty out there but i'm having a bit of a mind blank but again that would just automatically reset the form so they could just keep submitting forms and then we've got anonymous form so we can select whether it's anonymous or not so you won't see who that you won't get any identification or id of who submitted the form so maybe if you're doing something internal with your team and you don't want to don't want anyone knowing who submitted what then you can go ahead and select that as anonymous and then you can use the survey view if you'd like and this essentially creates um so as you can see here if i go to preview the best way for me to explain it is just go to preview as you can see here we've not got anything this is our form down the bottom we'll have like a stages so if i click out of that press present as survey and then I'll just press preview again you'll be able to see that we've got like a zero of four answered and it will complete the stages it'll be like a completion bar down the bottom there and then you've got one required question left hopefully that explains that and then down the bottom finally you've got remove from branding if you are lucky enough to have the paid version of monday.com okay so now we've set up our form, we've identified where it's going to go on our board and we've added the relevant information that we would like to. We now have two options to share our form. We just press the share form button and this is the two options we have. We can either use a shareable link and that is where you would direct organic PPC traffic to the form where they can submit their information or we could embed this form onto our website so maybe you want to maybe you've got your website and you're just adding the form to your website so you can collect leads from there or absolutely anything else again the shareable link might be a tickets link the use cases for forms are endless but in order to use the shareable link just press the copy and then paste it into your search bar or if you need to embed it just copy the html code and then use an iframe to embed it into your website and that is really just as simple as that you can deactivate the form if you'd like to and then reactivate it or you can regenerate a shareable link so maybe something bad happens with the link and you need a new one need a fresh start that's not a problem you can just press the regenerate shareable link and it will regenerate a link for you 
If I press the preview button, like I've already demonstrated, this is what your form is gonna look like. You fill in the information, so I'll just fill in Nick Boardman. I can upload any files if I'd like to. I've got my date, so maybe I'll just put the date for next week. Price, 1,000 as a random example. Press the submit button. So now, as you can see, your answers were submitted successfully. Let's click out of the forms area, go back to our main table, and we should be able to see, there we go, 1,000 pounds, 10th of March, our new piece of information has been added to our board. And of course, we can go back and we can edit any of this information as we so wish. Um, we can A-B test things like that as well. Hopefully this video has been useful. You're now very familiar with forms, the benefits of using them, and you'll be able to utilize them for your business. Uh, I will see you in a moment's time. You should now be set to start using forms inside of your monday.com system to collect whatever data you need and then to manage it from the monday.com system without the need for any manual entry. If you have enjoyed the video or found it at all useful, please consider giving it a like, possibly even subscribing. If you've got any further questions at all, you are more than welcome to just drop a comment below or you can email me as my details are in the description below and I'll do my best to answer any questions you do have. Thank you ever so much for watching and I will hopefully see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.